What's going on everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video and welcome to F1 2020 as you can see I pulled out all the stops I've been playing I've been playing racing games for a long time y'all know I love racing I figured why not if I'm gonna record it and really have a good time playing something like this why not go all out and elevate the experience so I got a uh, Logitech G29 wheel and pedal combo to go with the game that way we can actually um actually drive a little bit so hopefully this will be fun i did practice a little bit just because i had never played a racing game like this before i've only done it with a controller but now y'all about to see your boy can drive okay i'm about to be in the f1 esports category over here italy entering events but first we're gonna start off with a new my team um so hopefully you guys enjoy it thank you all for tuning in if you'd like to see more of this series on the channel be sure to show some love to the like button subscribe if you happen to be new here and without further ado let's hop in it says do you want to challenge do you want the challenge of entering into formula one as a new team in my team mode you'll start from scratch as the 11th team on the grid building up your team in order to create a lasting legacy. Being both the owner and the driver will have its own unique set of challenges. You'll have to perform both on the track and behind the scenes. I feel like we should Welcome do... Right. Okay. I think this is me. Character, Will Johnson, WJJ, number two. Okay. Um, I think that looks good. Now, Don't look nothing like me, but how much money we got? What name would you like to give the team? Oh, what name? That's easy. We are going to be team. Oh shit. Is my caps lock on? It is. Southern comfort. Now, some kind of income stream <clears throat> is critical. So we need to sign a primary sponsor. I can think of someone. Southern Comfort. So we'll pay a signing bonus to the team up front. Right. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Makes the sense. The sponsor has a goal that they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Got it. Um, okay, so we got... I don't know what the hell that says. Equinox? How do I go to the right? Will it even... Let me go. Okay, there we go. Um, Equinox, that's the gym. Slingshot, Fuel, Shark, Pacifico. 5.2 million. Goal bonus, weekly income. Earn 25 points in a season. Achieve five points finishes during a season. Earn five Constructors Championship points in a season. That seems much more doable, doesn't it? Because we're going to be starting off. I bet you my finish 10th or better. In the cup, let's go with like shit. I don't know. What about a shark? Fact, We're going with shark. Now we've got a budget to work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. Power so unit. Let's sign a power unit supplier now. <clears throat> okay. We need both performance and durability from our power unit. Ooh. But we also need to balance the books. Correct. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. That makes sense. I'm thinking Renault, bro. Look at that. 87 performance, 79 durability. I mean, Mercedes, obviously. Um, 93 durability. Would love to get that Ferrari power unit, but I think this is going to be a nice mix of affordability, but also performance and durability. Renault seems like the good option. Doesn't Renault supply a lot of the power units to F1? I watched that F1 Netflix documentary. Jesus Christ, it's so good, man. Uh, okay. So I'm thinking we kind of go in the middle on this, too. Maybe not Lewis, but maybe like a Mick Schumacher? Contract costs? Wait, they're all one million? Oh, if that's the case, then hold up. I mean, this guy can put together some lap times. Awareness, overtaking... We can spend 1.5 on like Jack, who's definitely going to put up some competitive lap times. I'm thinking, I'm not going to lie, I forgot what that, 80, I'm getting the best driver. I don't give a fuck. Unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. 2.7 and 1.5? Fuck if I know what that math is. Um... Confirm. Like this. Oh, what should our colors be? Y'all know I like black and green, though. I really like 
black and green. So what if we did like that green right there? And then it says L1 and R1 for the other. Yeah. What it just like a What is this one? I'm ready. Select season length. What do we want to do? 22 races? That seems like a lot. Um 16 or we could go with 10 races. How about we do the middle and go with 16 races? That seems nice. F1 2020 allows you to customize your race experience to the way that you want to play. There are two race styles available, standard and casual. Each of these uh, styles has different driving assists available in them. Standard is for players who already have some experience. Um, yeah, I think, I think for sure. When the steering assist is enabled, you'll need to follow the engineer's race plan in order to pit. When it's time to pit, the steering assist will guide you into the pit entry. If you want to pit sooner, let your team know through the radio with the box this lap command. Got it. Okay. Are we about to do it? I'm nervous. Uh, we're going to do standard. Um, gameplay settings, weekend structure, full practice. Practice length is short. Okay. Race, formation lap. Can we do a formation lap actually? Yeah. Race distance, AI driver level. I mean, we'll keep it on easy. Oh shit, for now. Uh, okay. Gameplay settings, flashbacks, vehicle damage, safety car, tire temperature, okay. Assist, here we go, driving proficiency. Amateur, okay. Traction control is on, dynamic racing. We're gonna start with this just cause again, this is my first time racing with <clears throat> a wheel, pedals. We'll see what we can do. I got my water. I need one of those fucking helmets with the water bottles on the side. That way I don't gotta take my hand off the wheel, you know? That'd be epic, I'm definitely getting one of those. Do I look fat sitting down like this? You know when you sit down your fucking stomach rolls over? Or is that just, if you're fat? I don't, I'm, I'm gonna move my shirt out like this, just so it looks <laughs> better. <laughs> I'd be eating. Um, the fine art of diplomacy, how you answer, uh, answer interview questions can affect the morale. Consider your answer, answers carefully. Refusing to answer can frustrate the press, leading them to ask you tougher questions. Um, in my team, your answers can even influence the direction your team takes before you hit the track. Damn. The media coaching perk can be purchased through the contract screen at the team HQ. Oh shit. We're here. My only thing is I'm pretty far away from the monitor in comparison. I'm a good like two feet further. Okay. We're live in five, four, three. Hello folks and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number Manor, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. That's me. While some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out, though, as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. Now, there's a rich history of that in Formula One, too. Sir Jack Brabham, John Surtees, Graham Hill, and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport, but it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so, too, is its driver and owner. Whatever yep. happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Um, nothing easy is worth doing. I live for Chan. This isn't just about me. This is about my team, and I'm behind them. Together, we're unstoppable. I like that. Every team needs two drivers. But what was it that drew you? To your teammates? It was finding the right fit for our team. They understand that we're new and appreciate the opportunity. We're providing. It was tough to get. We've seen what they can do, and I see a lot of... Yeah. I'm going to try to stay team-oriented. F1, I mean, Formula 1 is a team effort. Who's the team you're aiming to be? Um, I predict we're going to have a few... Where's Mercedes? I'm fucking them up. Um, I don't know. Williams? 
How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? Trash. Making the car as responsive as possible is going to give us an edge into the corners. Okay, we're focused heavily on maximizing our traction. Oh, your aero department will. Teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? Um, fresh pair of eyes. This era has brought a lot of complexity into the power unit, but we found plenty of room to innovate into in our ERS system. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this will actually... This is having an effect on our car, isn't it? The efficiency we've got out of the... Okay. Yep, your powertrain department will notice that. Overtaking is a key part of this sport. How Market's closed. Your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way. I mean, we produced a really streamlined car. You know, we didn't expect incredible top speed on the straightaways. Uh, can avoid grid penalties and failures. Overtaking is all about power. Uh, we've developed an incredibly light car. Powertrain department. Let's go, boys. And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? Uh, aerodynamics are perhaps the biggest part. What our team has achieved. Let's give durability some... Some love, just so I don't have a fast-ass car that breaks down in the middle of the race. Well, let's go then. Okay, great, thank you. That's a rock. Fourteen minutes in, I'm ready to race. Drive out. Yeah, let's, let's drive out. Can I um? Can I change the view though? I don't want to be in cockpit view. Oh my god. Okay. Um pause menu. Let's go preferences. Camera customization. Changing these I don't give a fuck. I want TV pod. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's better. <clears throat> We're racing maybe. Oh, here we go. All right. I don't know what this track is all about, but whoa, what the fuck? Okay, I was not ready for that. <clears throat> How many laps do I get? Damn, I can't see shit. What is that? I'm kind of trying to just take this first lap a little slower, that way I get an idea of the track a little bit. Dude, I hate these turns where I have to take the wheel and fucking actually turn it an insane amount and take my hands off the wheel. That lap was trash. Bitch got some sharp turns. <clears throat> okay. We're moving a little bit. Was that it? That was the track? I think it was, huh? Oh wait, no, here we go. Okay, that was that was a full lap. All right, let's see let's see what we could do. I'm gonna try to take it full speed this time. This first turn is insane. I'll tell you that much. Punch that shit. Ah. Go. Hitting the apex nicely. Like, damn. I've got to turn that thing like mad. This one, too. Go. I'm trash at those turns. I've got so much, like, information in the bottom right, I'm trying to keep a look-see over there. I 
I feel like I'm... I'm doing decent, though. Could be better, but... Not making any, like, grave mistakes. I have no idea what sort of... Like, structural changes we can make to the car in order to... Get a faster lap time. I think I just need to not suck. And that would probably be good. There's actually like an overtake button? What does that mean? What does that even do? That first turn is gonna be a nightmare when it comes to actual race time. Look at this thing. We're racing, baby. Go, 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 go. Those two turns, those are like... I feel like I'm trash at those turns, but in reality, like, you really do have to slow down to damn near stopping. What does that mean, L2? Oh! What is DRS? I don't understand this racing terminology. I'm like Tom Cruise and fucking... Days of Thunder. I just drive the car. Y'all probably haven't even seen that movie. Go watch it. Days of Thunder. Henry, get the fuck out of the way! I can't see where I'm driving! I would never have this issue if I was <laughs> driving an F1 car. Let's go! Okay, I think I'm I think I'm good. Retire from session? Is that possible? I'm ready for the race. Are you sure you want to retire? I'm sure. Hey, can you just back up? Like, come on, bro. Alright, that was intense. I think my dude was about to just drive into the wall. <clears throat> oh, I think I just needed to do like one more lap. Skip that. The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our Yo! Hamilton and Alexander Albon. Okay. What an incredible practice session. The fun doesn't stop here, though. Join us again as the rest of the weekend unfolds. You're damn right. All right, so we had the fastest lap. Oh, I'm about to win. I'm definitely about to win. Dude, can we just... It's race time. We're 25 minutes into the video. Let's go. Let's race this thing. I wonder how many laps are races. Like 10? Five? Probably five. Or we could do like fucking a hundred. Just marathon sessions. I'm right. Oh, 14 laps. No way. Um, all right, let's qualify. Qualify, then race. This says practice three. Is that real? <clears throat> I'm nervous. Um, there's our squad. Okay. Let's go, Jack. Got some acclaim boost. It's my boy. Oh, okay. Oh, so we just like simulated the practice rounds. Got it. I feel like I shouldn't be first. You know what I mean? There's no way I should win my first Formula One race. I feel like as long as I don't come in last, that's the way to go. What the hell is this? Here we go, baby! Ah, we're driving. All right, I think we get one shot, so. Can't fuck this up. Damn, I'm breaking, but. did my best there. Once I figure out what that DRS means, ooh boy. I'm gonna be smoking them. I love this track at night though. This is 
way cooler than in the day. So much easier to see. Punch that shit. <clears throat> Oh, 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 oh. Almost goofed on that. Get it together. Damn, I'm all I am all over the track right now. That was not great on my part. Punch that shit, baby! Uh, I think 136. Oh, 132? Front of the okay, grid. Good job, mate. Really well done. This that might be too easy. Drive. I might have to put it on a harder difficulty. Once I get used to this shit, though, I'm about to be tearing up the track. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves okay. of our two seconds. Three. Johnson, Hamilton, and Valtteri Bottas. With quali that was pretty. Uh, it's pretty close. It was four seconds between myself and the bottom of the pack. That means if I make one mistake, basically, and go flying off the track, Great then we lose. Thanks. Let's have your thoughts. Oh, easy. Looks like you had a great qualifying session. It must be a relief being that far up the grid. Your claim was affected by that answer. You didn't spend much time practicing. Are you saving your car for the main event? Um. If you don't need to spend time on track, there's no need to do it. What? We'll surprise you the next time. We don't want to do that. I can't even do the one on the right. When you're as good as me, you don't need to practice. <laughs> if you don't need to spend time on track, there's no need to do it. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Now is it race time? Put me in a race. Here we go. It's time, baby. Testing. No more practice. This is the real deal. You damn it's right. Make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Twenty-five degrees Celsius. Formula One returns to the depths no clue what on this temperature that is. 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities. 15. It could be a strategic race this one with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tires. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. <clears throat> yeah. Can Mercedes start with victory in their bid to win a seventh consecutive constructors title? Nope. Could Ferrari or Red Bull establish an advantage early on? And with 22 cars, the Sharks. Grid, how quickly can the new team find their footing? Well, it's great to be back, Anthony Davidson. We've got a lot to talk about this year. That's right, Crofty. It felt like a this long winter, sick. but it's good to finally be back. I have to think the usual suspects will battle it out at the front. But there are always going to be some teething problems early on in the season. So whoever can keep on top of their issues will have the advantage today. Okay, Jack. Earlier, we're up to Team Southern Comfort. This season, with a new entry run by, well, of all things, an owner driver. That's something we haven't seen in this sport since Hector are back over four decades ago. So how are they looking so far? It's hard to imagine how a small operation like that could survive in the ruthless world of Formula One. And yet here they are. First ever race looking surprisingly strong. That car looks sick. But there are no points for qualifying. Let's see how they fare in the Grand Prix proper. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Johnson lines up on pole position. Damn right I do. Let's go then. What a great way to start the season. Pole position. Yeah. Now let's take the win. Okay. Start the race. Ooh. Formation lap. Maintain position. Okay. Got it. Will it even let me speed up? Hey, Launch hey. Point is good. Gearbox is responding normally. Make sure to warm up the tires and brakes. Warm the tires and brakes throughout the lap. I got it. <laughs> Look at Lewis, bro. Come back. Warming up the tires.
I see people do that on TV, so I figured that'd be the right thing to do. Hamilton is staying in that line, ain't he? My man is killing it. I feel like he really needs to let me... Like, what does that overtake button do? I pressed it. When I passed him, is it like nitrous or some shit? <laughs> I can't see my mirrors. Is he behind me? How do I look behind me? Oh, that ain't it. Take that shit off. Okay, I'm ready. It's race time, baby! Reforming grid for race start. Stand by. Here we go. What the fuck? Oh, I'm pumped. The rest of the grid is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights. I'm patient. <clears throat> I'm nervous. 14 laps? That's a long ass race. It's about to be like an hour long video. I hope y'all are ready. I might not say a word for 14 laps. Oh shit. Let's go! Oh shit, I'm already getting past. Well, Hamilton can suck my whole dick. Look at him. Already lost the lead. <clears throat> I feel like my car is slower than it was in qualifying, but maybe that's because I'm behind Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> like I said, even if I don't win this race, that's okay. I gotta think it's probably not normal to win my first right, Formula One race. Now for the rest of the race. Damn you! Oh, I'm on as us. Oh, y'all like that move. Oh, 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 Lewis. God damn. Oh, you're going to kill us. Oh, Robin's racing, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go. I'm about to take off and leave the pack now. Straight up. <clears throat> Now I see the dots in the bottom left. Okay. Fastest lap, 138. I think we were doing 136 in qualifying, so... Let's see, now that no one's in my way, maybe I can put up a bit of a faster time. I could without a doubt be a Formula One driver. No doubt in my mind. Can't do that shit though. Fuck. <clears throat> We're good though. Got a two second lead. That's huge in Formula One. Two seconds? You might as well be getting lapped. You're down by fucking two seconds. Punch it, baby! Oh, I'm 
I'm leaving the pack. By the end of this race, we might be. We might actually be lapping people. Damn, my wheel is like DRS coming is undone. What the fuck? We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. I don't know what that means, brother. I just drive. You just tell me what buttons to press. Holy shit, my back hurts. I'm like sitting up and shit. I'm not used to sitting with proper posture. <clears throat> Take button more, it's time to utilize some of this energy. Ah, uh, but I don't, I'm not overtaking anybody though. Press it. Should I disable it now? I'm gonna look up what the fuck all this means after this video. That way I'll know for sure. All I know is I'm an animal. I know I'm playing on normal mode, but... Absolute animal. What lap was that? Three? My back hurts. What do you say? I got a pit soon? The teammate behind is 18.2 seconds. Yeah, he's trash. Absolute trash, my teammate is. I'm definitely, for the next episode, just gonna up the difficulty a little bit. Not like on the car, but just make the opponents better. Because I could just change, like, you know, the driver's assist, turn it all off. Maybe I do that. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. Should we make the AI better or make the car worse? If that makes sense. I think I'm starting to sweat. Like, I've never put this much physical effort into a YouTube video, I don't think. Not a gaming video, at least. <clears throat> what lap time is that? Oh. We're definitely beating 138. Oh, yeah. Give me, like, a 135. Yes. Shaved off three seconds. I think I gotta be braking faster <laughs> on that turn. That way I can hit the apex while I'm like starting to accelerate. A new strategy is available on the MFD. A new what? Change strategy. For what? The strategy is working brilliantly. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Change strategy. I'm about to change managers for suggesting that dumb shit. My back's cramping. This whole series is about to just me complaining about physical ailments. <clears throat> This is hella fun, though. I'll be honest. I've never had this much fun playing a racing game before. And Dirt 5 comes out soon, too. Rally cars. Ooh. Shit. That's good enough there. Overtake. ERS. Oh, shit. I forgot to hit the brake.
overtake. Use that energy. We're gonna box this lap. Push hard on the in lap. We're boxing this lap? Oh shit. I do kinda wanna see what that looks like exactly. Hopefully it will like tell me where to go. It said it was gonna guide me whenever I need to pit. This is incredible. The fact that like I'm even doing this right now. Imagine somebody in like 1942 watching this video. But shit, there's probably people alive that were born in 1942. You know what I mean? Like in 1942 though. They'd be so fucking confused. Like I'm driving a race car. Recording a YouTube video, what? Oh shit, life's crazy. I'm chilling though. In the lead. Ooh, overtake. ERS power. Ugh. Oh shit. I forgot. Okay. I'm 11 seconds ahead. I could probably pit and still win if nobody else pitted. Get them on, boys. Get them on, boys. Release, release. Damn, Verstappen's in the lead? He's got a pit, though. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Well, Jesus Christ, I don't know what I just did. Receive a penalty for dangerous driving. Brother, this is Formula One. It don't get more dangerous. Let's over target on fuel. Let's start burning it off, please. What do you say? We need to burn off fuel? Okay, I'll just continue driving. I feel like I have pushed my thing all the way under my desk. Yep, I definitely did. Okay, let's just do it like that. I didn't put the um, things on the bottom of my wheel stand that like forces it to stay still and not move. Damn. Is Verstappen pitting yet? He's gotta be, right? Something just happened to my light. Oh, they're pitting. Alright, we're good. Back in the lead. Back in the lead. Okay, so let me let off the brake a little bit sooner on this turn, and then... Yeah, let me come into it like that more. Okay. Oh, we probably just gained a full second on that. Jack is in the pits. Jack in the pits. Well, Jack needs to get on the fucking ball, brother, because... He's way back We're there. leading our teammate by 17.6 seconds. Oh, that was better. <clears throat> that was much better on that turn. I'm up by 20 seconds with four laps to go. I am fucking this track, dude. Formula One racing is like sex. There's a certain rhythm to it, and you gotta hit it correctly. You gotta, the timing gotta be right. You gotta go quick, slow, fast. You gotta know when the pit stop. Every fucking teamwork, bro. 
straight up. Bringing it home on the final lap, baby. Absolutely killing it. Something's got to change for next episode, though. Too, too easy. <clears throat> it was honestly like a time trial the whole time. I was with Hamilton for like the first lap, and then after that, it was, it was just me. I never saw another car. <laughs> I didn't lap anybody, and I never got past. All right, checkered flag. Turn up. You worked hard for that one. Thanks. Congratulations. Appreciate that. All right. Driver of the day. Not me? <laughs> Did way better than that guy. A fantastic team effort then to secure victory here in the desert. Yeah. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? It was all me. Like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. Correct. That's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. It's Daniel Ricardo, loving the helmet. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. It's me. Yeah. Crack that shit open, baby. Oh, spraying it. Why is he spraying me in the face? All right. <laughs> oh, that's great. Formula One is such a good sport. All right, everybody. I think that's going to do it for the first episode of Formula One 2020. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will catch you right back here next time. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance. And as always, guys, I don't really have a